745, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thanks for spending some time with us here. Marijuana, a super hot topic these days. We've got the 420 rally this Friday in Vancouver. We, of course, have the legalization of recreational marijuana coming this summer at some point. We're here this morning uh, with an emergency room physician, Dr. Finkler. Thank you so much for joining us from St. Paul's. We're going to be talking about the effects of consumption. How about we start with a big one? What happens to someone when they've consumed too much pot? So um, some people can uh, feel like a euphoric effects and, and feel really happy and they get the psychoactive or hallucinogenic effects and some people get a paradoxical effect where they feel sort of anxious or unwell because uh, they're, they're not prepared for, for what they're going to feel. Typically it's the, the naive users that feel that way. How do people react differently? I mean, uh, there's a lot of discussion about, okay, accessibility has changed, but uh, how much can, is too much like, when, when you consume it versus alcohol? I mean, if you take a shot right away, you're knowing the impact, but uh, what are uh, some of the timelines for consumption of actually feeling the effects? So when people smoke uh, uh, marijuana or smoke a joint, uh, they'll often get the effect within, it's absorbed rapidly within minutes, and people will get the effect within um, minutes to half an hour. Uh, whereas when you ingest it, there's a delay in absorption because it has to be uh, metabolized to the psychoactive agent and it takes anywhere from one to two hours so sometimes people uh, 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 ingest uh, um, a cannabis gummy and say well I don't really feel anything I'm going to take another and then all of a sudden two or three hours later I feel, wow I feel really weird this doesn't feel good for me I don't like this I think a lot of us, Dr. Finkler, are aware that there are, you know, different tolerance levels for different human beings in general, but what about how, let's say, a teenager might be able to tolerate a certain amount of marijuana compared to a full-grown adult? Yeah, I think that there's a huge variability in, in tolerance, and maybe that's related to your experience with the drug or your racial ethnic uh, metabolism. Some people uh, can get uh, intoxicated with alcohol, for example, on one or two drinks, and other people have higher tolerance, and I think it, it's hugely variable. Younger people I think and naive users are the most susceptible. When do you know it's time to go to the ER? Because one, you can feel awful, but two, when do you know you need to really seek some professional support? I think people feel really, really distressed. I think one of the things is, as uh, we were talking about before, is the heart rate increases and people feel feel their heart pounding and, and sometimes people's going to come out of their chest. I don't think anybody's going to um, uh, have a real emergency like uh, collapse or die, but people can feel like they're going to collapse. And so I think if you feel distressed, you should seek medical attention and we can help. I think there's probably people watching this morning that have been in that situation wondering do I need to go to the hospital or not. If someone does come to the hospital, let's say 420 this Friday, uh, someone's consumed too much yeah. and they come to the hospital, what kind of treatment are they going to get? Uh, so depending on the severity of symptoms, sometimes it's, it's supportive and we just say, you know, you look okay, nothing terrible is going to happen, reassurance, you can go home with a reliable friend who's not intoxicated. And some people who are really agitated, sometimes we need to give them a short acting benzodiazepine a drug very much like Valium to calm them down and watch them for a little bit and then we can discharge them. All right. And, and for those that are celebrating, you know, this Friday as, as we look at previous years, how do, you, how do you define the line of saying we're getting medicinal benefits versus this is crossing over into disorder territory? How do you define that? Um, well, I guess if the behavior is out of control and, and, and I would say antisocial and, and, and disruptive, that, that would be problematic. Whereas if people are just having fun and minding their own business and not uh, um, abusing others or, or destroying property, that, I don't think that's a, a problem. We mostly see the behavioral uh, interactions or, or adverse effects of the drug. Well, there we have it, 420 coming up. Uh, you could see many more people in the ER this Friday, but there is rain in the forecast, so that may put a damper on the overall spirit of things. I guess we'll find out this Friday. Breakfast Television continuing after this.